Unit 2. My job description. So as you can see, I was very excited. After that, we talked about my job description. Your skills. What were your favorite topics at university? My favorite topics were letter writing, dictation, and filing studies. What do you think are your strengths? I have good patience and English language skills. Are you computer literate? Yes, I can use Windows and Excel. Can you type? Yes, 50 words per minute. Hmm. Are you familiar with the Internet? Yes, I am familiar with the Internet. I like surfing in my free time. What is your favorite website? My favorite website is www.bbc.com. What were your favorite topics at university? My favorite topics were letter writing, dictation, and filing studies. What do you think are your strengths? I have good patience and English language skills. Hmm. Are you computer literate? Can you type? Hmm. Are you familiar with the internet? Getting a job. Can you work with larger groups of people? Yes, I enjoy working in a large team. Do you mind working on weekends? No, I don't mind working on weekends. Well, you look like the person I need. Thank you. I would really like this job. Okay, I'll give you a job as my secretary. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. When would you like to start working? As soon as possible. Next Monday at 9 a.m.? Next Monday sounds fine. Okay, so we'll see you next Monday at 9 a.m. Congratulations! Thank you very much for this opportunity. I will not disappoint you. Good, because I like hard-working people. Then I am your girl. I certainly hope so. I should get ready now, otherwise I'll be late. It would be really bad if I was late for my first day of work. Can you work with larger groups of people? Yes, I enjoy working in a large team. Do you mind working on weekends? When would you like to start working? As soon as possible. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I will not disappoint you. Unit 3. Arriving at my new office. Greetings. Ah, good morning. Are you Jane? Yes, I'm Jane. Ah, you're just on time. Can I go up? Yes, Mr. Smith is waiting for you on the fifth floor. Thank you. Come in. Hello, Jane. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Are you ready to start work? Yes, I am. I'm a little busy now, so my assistant Anna will take care of you. Wait, and I'll call her for you. Okay. Anna, could you come next door and show Jane around, please? Thank you. Ah, good morning. Are you Jane? Yes, I'm Jane. Are you ready to start work? Yes, I am. 
in the new office. And this is your new office. It's nice and bright. Oh, in my room, it's right next door. Is there a telephone intercom system? Yes, there is. And is it easy to use? Yes, it is very easy to use. How many people are working in the marketing and sales department? Mm, there are about 20 people who work in the department. And am I the youngest employee? Yes, you are. This is your job description and contract. I'll need you to review them and sign them. I think I need some time to organize myself. That's fine. I'll be back in about 30 minutes. That's plenty of time. Thank, Thank you. Is there a telephone intercom system? How many people are working in the marketing and sales department? I think I need some time to organize myself. Unit 4. Talking with my new boss. Getting ready to work. Jane, are you free now? Yes, I am. Will you come to my office now, please? Yes, David. I'll be there in a moment. So, Jane, how are you settling in? Everything seems to be fine. Have you got everything you need? No, not yet. I need to go to the stationery department. Okay, I'll ask Anna to show you later. Will she also show me around the office? Yes, of course she will. It looks like a big place. If you have any problems or questions, you can always ask Anna. So, Jane, how are you settling in? Everything seems to be fine. Have you got everything you need? No, not yet. I need to go to the stationery department. About the contract. Have you read and signed your contract yet? Yes, I have. Here it is. Do you understand the terms and conditions? Yes, I think so. If you have any questions, you can ask me any time. Okay. How long does the probation period last? The probation period lasts for three months. And then what happens? What happens is that I will review your performance. Can you tell me what parts of my performance you will look at? Yes, I will look at your punctuality, work performance, and your relations with me. What happens if I do not pass my probation? If you do not pass, then you will need to find another job. Do I get a second chance here? No, I'm sorry. You do not get a second chance here. Have you read and signed your contract yet? Okay. How long does the probation period last? The probation period lasts for three months. Can you tell me what parts of my performance you will look at? Yes, I will look at your punctuality, work performance, and your relations with me. Questions about office policy. And what is the yearly evaluation? Every year, I will evaluate your performance. And then what? Then, I will decide whether or not you deserve a pay raise. Does the company also provide medical insurance? Yes, we do. What kind of insurance is it? It is fully comprehensive. Do I get automatic cover? Yes, you do get automatic cover. 
How much holiday time am I allowed? You are allowed two weeks every year. Can I take it any time? Yes, you can take it any time. I think this is a fair company. Yes, we are a fair company. And what is the yearly evaluation? Every year, I will evaluate your performance. Then, I will decide whether or not you deserve a pay raise. Does the company also provide medical insurance? How much holiday time am I allowed? You are allowed two weeks every year.